welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is petty and my channel name is nella grace is a student lifestyle channel so today we are talking all about using an ipad at uni and specifically how i use it to study and in medical school and how i've used it it's going to be really simple not complicated and not that aesthetic bay for you that uses you know their ipad in so many wonderful ways i like efficiency i like um, just practicalness and something that's just easy to do so if you want to know how i use my ipad for uni then please keep watching okay guys before we start the video i just want to let you know that i'll be doing a giveaway i'll be giving you guys a ken hub subscription so if you would like to enter that subscription then watch till the end i've also been giving away kind of like secret giveaways on my instagram um so if you don't already follow me on there i'm doing those giveaways there but i'm also more importantly giving you guys so much information about studying about productivity about uni med school all that stuff so if you don't follow me on there then you definitely should because i don't want you to miss out so yeah right let's go <laughs> So guys, today I have on my scrubs and my stethoscope because it was supposed to be Med Monday but I'm uploading this on a Wednesday because I just wanted to give you guys a video this week and I didn't want to wait till next week because next week on Monday I'm actually filming, I'm currently in the process of filming a week in my study routine. So I'm going to be giving you guys all the things that I mentioned in my two previous videos about studying, which you can watch here. My how to study absolutely anything video and also my how I get 100% in medical school video. In both of those videos, I talk to you guys about my study routine. But in these two next videos, this one and the next one, I'm going to be showing you practically how I do that. On Monday, I'm going to be going, taking you guys through my week in my study routine. Um, so that will hopefully be helpful to you to see how I practically do it on a day-to-day -day basis. So if you're not subscribed already, then make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that video. And if you are already subscribed, then please put your post notifications on, on the button down below to make sure that you don't miss when I upload videos. So you don't miss important videos like this, especially now that it's exam season, it's very vital. So anyway, onto the iPad. The iPad that I have is the... I think it's called just the seventh gen iPad. I don't know if it has a name <laughs> specifically. It just uh, it just says iPad. It's not an iPad Pro because I felt like I didn't really need an iPad Pro and it was more expensive. Um, I just got this one and I got this from Apple and it's just the rose gold one. Um, simple, bimple, and I just got this iPad case from Amazon. I'm going to be linking everything that I have in the description below so you guys can go buy that if you would like and i've got the apple pencil um i think it's just the normal the first gen apple pencil not the newer one again because i didn't really need it it's not like i'm doing some you know um, illustrate online illustration or ipad illustration so these are the things that i have and the reason i actually got this ipad is because every single one of my classmates had one yes fomo <laughs> but it just seemed really efficient like i would be turning up to class with my notebooks my pens and all that stuff and they would just whip out their ipads and even sometimes i'd bring up my my mac my macbook and it still wasn't the same as like everyone was using their ipads and it just seemed more efficient and most of my colleagues i think about 50 percent of my year uses ipads so i just thought maybe they're onto something you know what i mean so i got one and they were onto something i love using an ipad for uni i just think it makes so things so much easier it saves on paper sustainable queen yes <laughs> um and it's just really great so getting on to it i there's two main apps that i use on my ipad the first one is an app called good notes um good notes and another app called notability are kind of like the apps that people either have one or the other i've heard they're really similar i watched a lot of reviews before i picked one which one i wanted because they can be expensive um to buy on the app store so i didn't want to like chant it so i watched a lot of videos and good notes seemed like it was the one that goes more according to what i want so that's the app that i use to organize my life so what I do on here is on my GoodNotes app, I just have folders. So I have folders for all of my work. So not just my uni work, but I have folders for like my YouTube and just other work stuff. I have that. But here is my um, folder for my uni. So I'm in my current final year, my sixth year of medical school. So I just have that there. And I have folders for every single module that I have done this week 
this week <laughs> this year and i organize it that way so at the beginning of the module i organize myself you guys will see that process in next week's video on monday's video so like i said tune into that video um so i organize myself like that that's the first thing first way that i use my ipad is i just basically do what i would do on my laptop but i do it on my ipad it's easier to access it's less heavier as well which is something that i was literally getting backache from carrying my notebooks my textbooks my you know laptop all in my bag like it was just too much it's too much <laughs> um i just yeah so an ipad is easier for me because i can have my ebooks on here i can have my all of my folders on here i can have everything basically on this little tablet so i love it so i've got all my folders in here so that's the first way that i use my ipad at uni is to organize all of my files and to get myself organized the second way that i use my ipads is to make my study timetable so on here if i click into my current module that i'm doing at the moment forensics i have my schedule on here so i just open that every day to see what i have and when i have it so it makes me organize in that way and then i also have here my study timetable my study timetable is very simple nothing complicated it's just here i literally just um i just organize my questions of what i'm going to be studying that day according to day so the 20th as you can see here so here i've got like the 20th i've got the 21st i've got the 22nd so that's just my timetable my on um study timetable and i just go through about five questions a day because that works out with my formula that i talk about in my how to study anything video and also my active recall video which you can go watch which will help you to understand this video more um, so yeah, that's the second way that I use my iPad is for my study timetable. So everything is in one place. I can check what I have for uni that day. I can also check what I'm supposed to be studying that day. Um, the third thing, again, still everything is in good notes um, that I'm doing so far. The third thing that I do is actually take notes on my iPad. So I'll go to a previous module that I have more notes on. So if I go to geriatrics um, here, I have all of my notes on here. So for example, all of my active recall notes, I have them all on here. That is the third way that I use my iPad is to take notes using my active recall method on during my lectures or after my lectures. So I don't have, like I said at the beginning, I'm not an aesthetic babe. That's just not what I'm trying to do. <laughs> I'm not trying to sell my notes to people or enter an art contest. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to study. So my notes are very simple. They're very straightforward. I'm just literally having question and answer. And I use this in GoodNotes. So it just basically works like a notebook, as you can tell at the very beginning. If you want to see how I actually make the notes and how I study, um, you can watch my other videos. So the fourth way that I use my iPad for is to make flashcards and flashcards are good because I can use these for active recall and also for spaced repetition. GoodNotes is really good on flashcards because I can make them and it actually does my spaced repetition way of studying for me. So that is the fourth way. So basically what I do is I go and I make my flashcards like this. So in this app what's amazing about it is you can basically add a flashcard and it allows you to then use it um review them when you want to so any any time that you want you can just go and review your flashcards and it will give you according to space repetition based on what you found harder last time and until you get those uh, are getting them easier and easier then it will space out when you're reviewing them so it just does it for you automatically so you're not having to make your own timetable i was going to do a whole a separate video on um, spaced repetition but I'm not going to do that one because I'm not an expert at it and two I'm doing that on Monday's video when I'm going to be taking you through my week week of studying and you can see how I do that practically so tune into that video instead the fifth and final way that I use my iPad um, for studying is using the app procreate so now procreate is usually supposed to be an app for um, illustrators so a lot of people that make illustrations like on Instagram or things like that I actually use procreate for example for my thumbnails um, but I love this app because it allows me an amateur drawer to actually become kind of good at it <laughs> so I just usually take sometimes I used to do anatomy coloring book um, if you watch my videos from previous like years back I used to have an anatomy coloring book I still have it actually but I don't use it as much but it was great so I'll just color in with it and it would help me to remember a lot because I'm a visual learner. So it would help me to remember a lot of the anatomy when it comes to anything. It was in really, 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 really detailed as well, which I loved about it. So now what I use instead is Procreate. So what I do is I just get a picture from Ken Hub 
and um, usually I use I only use Ken Hub for anatomy because it's the best for me you guys already know this which is why I mentioned the giveaway at the beginning I will be telling you guys more about that giveaway at the end of the video so if you want to win a Ken Hub's premium subscription then watch till the end but what I do is I go on Ken Hub and I just download some of their pictures and I put them onto Procreate and then I just trace them um, trace it out and then after I trace it out I will um, try and kind of like label all of the anat anatomical features and then see what I got right and sometimes I'll then um, just hide the the picture and bring it back and stuff like that just to see what I got right and what I got wrong as well and also it just helps me to draw just helps me to draw in general um, and anatomical uh, features right so that I can hopefully remember it more because of how I learn which is being a visual learner so that is basically the ways that I use my iPad so I use it basically in very simple ways I use it as a replacement for a notebook I use it as a replacement for flashcards I also use it for a replacement for apps for time management for productivity it's just fantastic for the purpose that is just more efficient it's more streamlined and it means that I can also find things easier because before when I was using notebooks trying to find my notes from like 2015 is so difficult because trying to find the page and all that stuff whereas here I can just like hit control find on my I, on my laptop or even on here I can just find a word and it will find it for me in my notes and I really love that about iPad and I just love that it's easier to find so I would say that if you can get an iPad to study with then you should but don't stress yourself out for example if you can't afford one if it's too it's just out of your price range that's completely fine you can be fine without it i only just got an ipad in my final year of medical school so i did come absolutely fine five years without it and i know you will do fine too but if you can get it it will save you a lot of time and it would just be easier so i hope that that will be helpful for you and i hope that this was really simple as well and easy to show you because i know sometimes when i watch other people's videos when they're doing things like how i use my ipad it's just so complex and the and the, the illustrations are so like you know re, like masterpieces i'm like i can't i can't do that i cannot do it <laughs> um but i hope that this is more relatable and it's something that you can do i mean there's nothing wrong with being aesthetic if you can do that then good for you babes um so yeah Anyway, guys, on to the giveaway. You guys know I've been working with Ken Hub to give you little surprise giveaways in my uh, medical video. So I'm going to be giving away two of you, giving away to two of you a premium Ken Hub subscription for one month so that you guys can try it and see how you like it. And hopefully you will love it as much as I do. So if you want to be involved in that giveaway, then comment down below what you study and that you are entering this giveaway. And then also let me know your Instagram so I can um, contact you once you win. If you don't have an Instagram, then I don't know how to contact you, boo. So just make an Instagram or something so that I can contact you. So those are, the, those are just the rules. Just comment down below what you study. Tell me that you're entering the giveaway and also um, let me know what your Instagram is so that I can find you and tell you if you have won. And if you don't want to wait for the giveaway in order for you to get your Ken Hub subscription, then you can go in my description below and just download Ken Hub. You get 10% off with my link if you would like that. So I hope that this video was helpful, guys, and I hope that you got something from it. Don't forget to tune in to Monday's video because I think that will be very, very, very helpful for you guys to see practically how I study. Uh, it's going to be real life, real time, not like set up in any way. It's just me studying, taking you through my week, um, showing you practically how I do that. And if you are also not already following me on Instagram, I share so much on my Instagram about studying, about how to study in much detail. Um, so if you want to find out more about that, then follow me on Instagram if you would like. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.